different types of operations we like to perform on our images. Now, usual basic operations we have discussed, right? That addition, subtraction, or rotation, or something like that. Now, these are the operations you like to perform on every image to get a better image. Better image means, as I told you, that this sometimes you will be getting the image which may have some thing which you do not like. You want to suppress those things and you want to get the better results or you like to get the good features out of it. Suppose you, suppose you see your palm, there are some, several lines are there. These lines are available on your image but not may not be in good quality. You need to extract something so or you need to do some operation on it so that you get the good quality image. At the, same, at the same, same time, you have to ensure that, that you are not playing with the features so that in the court of law, you can justify that all these features were available, only you have highlighted the, those features. So the first one is convolution. Now the convolution is a method only, it is not any operations through which you will be getting something. It is a method through which will be used by the other operations. So what is convolution? You remember this convolution is in digital image processing. It is mainly used to get the proper edges, that means age detection, smoothing the images or sharpening the images, right? This type of oper operations when you want to perform on an image, you will be taking the help of convolution. Now, is a, what is convolution? Basically, it, you will be taking a K cross K sub image. This sub image will be put on the central pixel whose data you want to modify. Take the help of the neighboring pixels and perform some operations on the neighboring pixels and put the result in the central pixel. That is convolution. You have a sub image sub image size may be k cross k, it need not be k cross k, it can be m cross n and this sub image will have some weights, may be positive weight, may be negative weight. This you will be putting on the central pixel whose data you want to modify and the neighboring pixel information along the weight you will be performing some operations and central pixel value you will be computing. That is convolution, right? Generally, we assume that sub-image size is a m cross m, but it is not necessary that it should be m cross m, it can be variable. Now the question is that you got a mask of sub-image, you are moving from one corner for, for to compute the value of the central pixel. Now the next pixel you want to compute, are you going to use the same mask? You should be, you should use the same mask, otherwise you are not, you are not using the same idea to enhance that image, to enhance or to sharpen the image, right? It cannot be that a mask you are using on some area and another mask you are using on another part of the same image does not have meaning, right? So generally same mask or same uh, sub image you will be performing from one corner to another corner, right? So that is the thing we have written here. The convolution is performed by sliding the kernel, kernel is your sub mask over the image, generally starting at the top left corner so as to move the kernel to all the positions. Now this mask, this sub image, once you are moving from one corner to another corner, this is a sub image and this is an image. Right, so this image you will be moving. So first you will be bringing it here, and you will be computing this value using this neighbor pixels and the values here, the coefficients here. So maybe this will be multiplied by this, this will be multiplied by this, and so on, and add it, and that value you have to put it here. That is the idea. Right, so. Uh, each kernel position corresponds to a single output pixels. The value for which is calculated by multiplying together the kernel value and the underlying image pixel value 
for each of the cell in the kernel and then adding together all this number to, to give you the pixel value. This is an example, this is an image and suppose this is the mask 3 cross 3 and this pixel I will want to modify. So, what I have done this into this plus this into this plus this into this plus this into this and so on you will be getting the modified value of this central pixel. Okay. So, the algorithm is very simple for a pixel p what I do I place the kernel on the central pixel and then you multiply it and add it get the output of that that is a, and you have to iterate it for all pixels. Now, the way the question is coming what should be my size of k right you are taking the sub image k cross k you have to be very careful what happens k must be odd am I right. Otherwise you have you are very careful which part you will be taking this side and which part will be in the bottom and so on. If k is not odd you will find that either this side is even and this side this side will be odd and this side will be odd right and there is a central line agreed. So, k must be odd k cross k k must be odd suppose it is 4 cross 4. So, to obtain this, let us assume that 4 cross 4 means what 1 2 3 4 5 6 right this is a 4 cross 4. Now, which one will be the central pixel if you put this in central pixel then you are giving the weightage to this two columns right in a image what we are computing we are computing the value of the central pixel with the help of the neighboring pixels reason is the neighboring pixel also because any image if you see say suppose this slab you see the neighboring pixels are also having the similar behavior right. So, this weightage I want to make use now suppose I give the weightage here on this pixel there are 1 1 pixel on the left but 2 pixels on the right then you are doing something wrong right you are giving more weightage this side or more weightage to this side instead of doing that I want to give equal weightage to both the sides both right. So, k must be odd now what happens if k yes no same same way you are moving no no modified values original image is there you perform it and uh, do it right. Now, what happens what should be my k k can be very small right? if k is small what is happening I am giving the weight is only the smaller area right and if I give the smaller area and maybe smaller area is itself the affected area. So, then resultant also will be affected area. Now, if k is large again there is a big problem that means what suppose k is very large then whole image suppose I do the operation of average of it that this plus this plus just weight I have given one and then then what will happen the central pixel will be nothing but the average of this image right that means I am not also giving the full importance on my central pixel even though the central pixel I can assume that it is affected one, but all central pixel are not affected one only one or two or some of them will be affected one right. So, our target is not to consider only the uh, not to consider the value of k very large at the same time very small. Now, this is first part second part is that once k you are moving this sub image over this then there is a the you will be seeing the top k there you do not have the any values because you have started computing the value from here onwards. So, similarly this side also you cannot get the value similarly you cannot get the value of this side similarly you cannot get the value of this side. So, agreed or not. So, basically your size will be reduced this side k size this side k this side k and this side k size of the image will be reduced right and you know people may not accept this one because I have given you say 2 k cross 2 k image and you are giving no 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 it is not 2 k cross 2 k it may be two, say 2000 cross 2000 image. 
So people, what happened? I have given you two cross two two k cross two k image, but you are giving the less size image. So you have to do some operation. One operation could be keep the value as it is. Don't touch the values. This is possible. Another possible is that I can assume that this image is wrapped around. So use this data to compute this one also, or use this data to compute because. It is not a big size. The fingerprinting data is not a big size data, right? So by doing that, you will not be losing great information. Agreed, agreed. But you know, our that is for visibility point of view. Our operations, you have, while you are computing, you know what you have done. So you will be computing the data on from here only. That is for visibility point of view. People should not feel that any any convolution you oper operations you do that some op strips will be there. That strips you have to manipulate. Otherwise, it will not be saleable, right? But while you perform the operations, you will be performing operation on this area only. The border line we don't consider. We will assume that they are all false minutia. Whatever minutia will be there. They are all false. So the world I have used a sub image. Now the sub image is sometimes you will find in some book you will find it is called filter. Some book you will get the mask. Some book you will find it is a template, kernel, or window. Okay. So it is not necessary that it will be called mask or kernel or something. It may be called as window also. Now the value of this sub image is we don't tell it is a pixel. They are called as coefficients. The coefficients are either positive or negative or zero. But pixel value is always positive. Okay, pixel value is always integer, positive integer. But the coefficient need not be. The process consists simply of moving that. That I have told you that from one corner to another corner, you have to do it. And this also I have told that whatever relationship you will be telling. Same, this relationship you have to follow. So this is suppose the image. So that was the mask you have. This is the mask or weight you want to do, and you want to compute this value. Okay. So you perform the operations this into this plus. I think it is written. So perform this operation. This into this plus. This into this plus. This into this, and so on. That will be your the next value of this. Now there are two terms you will finding that we are using. One of them is known as linear filtering. Another one is non-linear filtering. The linear filtering is nothing but as I told you that you will be considering the coefficient values. And the pixel value, you will be performing the operation, multiplication operations, and then add them. That is your linear filtering. That you are moving one corner to another corner, contact and corner, and then you multiply and add them. That will give you the result of the central pixel, right? And size of the pixel, what size of this window is? M cross N here is showing the 2A plus 1 and 2B plus 1, where A and B are non-negative integer, and obviously M and N are odd. So this is a general formula. Here I have assumed that A and B and 2A minus plus 1, 2 and 2B plus 1, and this is the formula for computing the central pixel. Agreed? So that one is just simplified way we have written. Here, the next term I am telling the non-linear filtering. What does it mean? In the case of linear filtering, what I did, I have considered each pixel and multiplied by the coefficient, add them to get the value of the central pixel. In the case of non-linear filtering, I am not considering that multiplied and so on. I am just taking the pixel values. Pixel values, and I do some operation on the pixel values to get the central value of the pixel. Central pixel structure is same. That you have the k cross k mask. You will be moving, but I will not multiply this coefficient with the pixel. 
plus coefficient of the next pixel neighbor pixel and add them to get the central pixel. What I will be doing that mask will move it will get the pixel values of that mask all the pixel value of that sub image and then he will perform some operations to get the positive or get the estimated value of the central pixel that is the nonlinear filtering am I is it clear say for example the operation can be the minimum of the sub mask minimum of the sum image here I am not doing anything I am just finding all the element pixel values of the sub image and I am finding the minimum value is it clear now let us come to the linear filtering first these are used for blurring and for noise reduction. Well, see, I have an image. Why I should I I want to make it a blur image, right? Blur means what? That will become a dull finished image, right? But why I want to do it? Because you may find that in an image there are some pixels they are keeping some other details which visible that they are not belonging to my image. Something else. So I suppose these pixels, there are several such type of things are there. So these are not, these are not your image content. There is something else. You don't want that, right? So if I do the linear filtering on it, what I will be doing? I will be taking the neighboring pixel values and then I put the replacement of this one. What will happen? That image becomes dull because the sharp part that uh, special information that will go and that will be replaced by the average value or something like that, right? So it will become the dull, it will become the blur, it will look soft, right? And generally we do it before we extract the features because otherwise this will be given you as a features. This is a false feature, it is not useful at all. So to get rid of this false feature, what we do? We do these operations so that this false feature will go away. And also you remember once you remove, you replace it by the average one, then there was a suppose here there is a white dots and others are not white dots. So this will be gone. That means that will create a breeze between the neighboring pixels. Is it clear? That will clear because the, that white part will go and it will be put by the replaced by the central uh, average pixel, average value of the neighboring pixels. So what will happen? That will look a link between the neighboring pixels. Noise reduction is also same one. Only the idea is the noise means that there are certain additional info, say, uh, things that that is not. You have put it or accidentally that point has come in your features. So you want to remove them. So this blurring after effect is also noise removal. So this is the, the linear filtering. First one is the simple one that is just I take the average of it, right? You have a mask, that mask contains some weights. That mask will be moving from top corner to another corner. Central pixel value will be replaced by the average value and that is your average filtering. There are other types of linear filtering. One is known as Gaussian filter. Median, this is not linear. Median, mean, and max filter. There is non-linear filter and enhancement filters. So if you observe that <coughs> mean filter will give you the softer look because you are replacing the pix central pixel value by the average value. So it will, you know, suppress some of the details. It will look give you the softer look. It will blur the image and so on. Whereas we will show that enhancement filter will enhance the image. It will give you sharpen the, it will get the better look on the edges, right? You can usually uh, see that there is a sharp edge if it exists that will be visible through enhancement filter. Now one interesting observations that over by seeing the mask itself you can understand what is the pattern of the image, output pattern of the image, right? That you have the mask, it has a content certain weights. By seeing the content itself, you can realize what will be my output convoluted image. That if the sum of the coefficients 
is 1, then average brightness will be retained. If some of the coefficient of the mask is 0, then the image becomes dark, that average image will be dark, that brightness will be lost. If the coefficients alternatively positive, negative, positive, negative and so on, then that image will sharpen, will be sharpened. It is a brightness, you know, age you can see properly. But if it is all positives, all positive, then the image will become dull. You be bright, you know, it will be, it will be blur. So in the case of average filtering, basically what you will be doing, you will be taking the neighboring pixels and some weights will be given on each. The weights are nothing but the coefficients and then you replace the central pixel by the average value of that. So, but it is a computationally, it is not that but a simple because once you are computing the average, there is a question of division will be coming in between, right. So, for every central, computation of every central pixel, you have to divide it by some total number of weights. Am I right? That is the definition of average. So, this division will come in between. Now, since the coefficients will be showing the C coefficient is all positives, then WIs are all positive, that is why that brightness, average brightness of the image will be retained. But since all of them are positive integer in the mask, what it will give? The blur or soft look image will be there. So, from the previous slide. Now, you observe that this is a 3 cross 3 linear filters that are weights or coefficients are all ones and divided by because I could have written 1 by 9, 1 by 9, 1 by 9 instead of that making so many divisions. What I have done? I have taken 1 by 9 outside. After computing, I will just divide it by 9. And this is the weighted average. So, you observe that 1 by 16 is the 16 weights I have given the summation over WI is 16. Now, here in this case, I am giving all in equal importance to each side. The diagonally I am giving one weight, this is also one weight, horizontal, vertical, every direction I am giving the equal weights. But here is the different case. You see that I am giving the weightage on my central pixel, which value is 4. 4 weights I am giving the central pixel, then the horizontal and vertical, finally the diagonal thing. So, if there is an image like this, there is a road here, then you will find, so this is a diagonal edge will be there. I you will not get much importance on this side, only, only this value, this value will get 4 times, this will be getting 1 time weight, 1 time weight, but other places, this side is 2 times weight, 2 times weight, 2 times weight, 2 times weight to get the thing. So, this if the line is diagonal 1, it may be affected in your image, rather convoluted image. You understood? Yes, clear? Now, why I have taken 3 cross 3? I could have taken 5 cross 5 also. As I told you that if you can have very large size of your sub image, but only thing is that this will increase your computational cost you will be losing some side uh, things and also finally what you are getting you will be central pixel will be dependent on the too many neighboring pixels. So, its central pixel property may be lost. This is the general formula for in any image processing book you will find this picture. This is a Linux photograph and all sorts of operations you do on this image. So, this is a 3 cross 3 image, 5 cross 5 convoluted image and there is 7 cross 7. I do not know whether it is see, visible or not, they are not same. That dull part is much more when you consider 7 cross 7, this is a little sharper than 5 and so on. Now, value of k as I told you that selecting the value of k is very important. You cannot select randomly a number. K is odd. 
first part is clear k must be odd but after that also what should be k is it 3 cross 3 is it 5 cross 3 5 or is it 7 cross 7 suppose I know by noise my noise is of size 5 cross 5 I know that my noise size is 5 cross 5 then my sub image will be more than 5 plus 5 otherwise you cannot suppress this noise right. So, if the noise size is more than diameter is more than w y then w 1 then k must be greater than 2 times w 1 plus 1 ok. Similarly, I do not want to lose the information at the right because detail information I cannot lose also. So, if I know that I want to retain the that uh, diameter less than w 2 then k must be less than or equals to 2 w 2 minus 1 right. So, this is the two parameters you have to keep in mind to estimate the value of k k is on and k must satisfy these two condition. Next is order statistics filter as I told you this is a non-linear filter here it is not considering any coefficient in the sub image to get the value of the central pixels. What it, but it is the same idea that mask will be moving from top corner top left corner to the bottom right corner and what it does he will be taking that all the pixel values of that sub mass and then use the order statistics to determine the value of the central pixels. So, the nonlinear these filters are either median that in you have the k cross k sub image you can find out the median of it that median will be used to replace you the central pixel it can be min max minimum or maximum and so on. Generally we use median filter, but median filter is not that simple if you see that if I have the 3 cross 3 and every time you have to compute the median that means the 9 elements every time you have to sort to get the fifth element right it is a it is a complex one. Now, you remember how much time you know what is the kth element finding kth element in x what is the complexity kth element order order n using Brahms algorithm right yes or no. So, you could have used here also Brahms algorithm, but number of elements is 9. So, does not mean much sense to use the Brahms algorithm to get the best way that just sort it and get the middle, middle element. So, this is a sunglass you see that lot of noises are here that noise you can see here and here after median filtering you will be getting this type of then the Gaussian filter this is a filter now you observe that you need to find out how to compute the central pixel using the neighboring pixel that is the problem right. So, h i j is the central pixel coordinate. H i j is the central pixel coordinate. So, I can find out what is d, d is i square plus j square. So, I will check again, but uh, most probably it is d square e to the minus half d square sigma square where d is equals to this that is i at position i at column and j at row and i j both of them are because you have the mass k cross k. So, that is a minus k by 2 minus k minus 1 by 2 and k minus 1 by 2. Now, this here the sigma plays a major role you do not know what is sigma sigma is the designer dependent and sigma is the thing who you will be telling what is the amount of filtering you need for the small value of sigma that higher value of filtering. But if you make sigma is very large then this becomes you know average filter this becomes average filter because e to the power this will become 1 right, right it becomes an average filter. But obviously, it needs more computation 
then I told you that there is another filter which is known as the enhancement filter. And this enhancement filter will enhance the image basically sharpen the edges that wherever there is an edge you want to give more importance. And this is a Laplacian type of filter and this filter is 3 cross 3 it is there. This is one filter 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 5 0 0 minus 1 0 okay. and you observe here I am what I am giving I am giving I do not give the any importance on the diagonal elements I am giving lay, comparatively less importance to the horizontal and vertical but maximum importance on my central pixel right. So, this will reflect on horizontal direction and vertical directions, horizontal direction and vertical direction and also you see that the coefficients are alternatively positive and negative. What it means that edges will be sharpened, edges will be sharpened in which direction? Because here I am reducing the weights edges will be sharpened this direction this directions am I right and also that sum is one average brightness will be retained agreed. Now, think about the third the second one here weightage I have given minus one minus one minus one minus one minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and here it is 9. Here that I am giving equal importance to the vertical and horizontal along with the diagonals. So, in this case you could have seen the diagonal edges enhanced form here you will be finding that in all directions you are getting the equal importance you have given. So, all of them will be brightened. In the third one can you tell me what is the impact? Third one horizontal directions and vertical directions materials will be enlightened better than the diagonal ones agreed. However, the average brightness will be retained average brightness of the image will be retained agreed because sum of the coefficient is 1. So, since I am giving the importance in the all the directions, so these are rotationally invariant. There is another one which is no filter which is known as difference filter sometimes you tell Ambrose filter. These are also linear filter you have to convolve it from one corner to another country corner and the mask are given this is a vertical impact, this is the horizontal impact this is diagonal impact one and this is also diagonal impact right and this is also linear filter up to this I can tell all filtering ok. So, this is about your filtering this filtering mainly used first part is that I told you that to reduce the noise and this you have to do before you do any feature extraction to get the uh, to get rid of all the noise or the any detail information which you do not want in the image right. Now, if you want that no no in my features that I want the edges should be taken into account then you should use the NST and band filter. If you feel no no I want to give the equal weightage then you should give either median filter or mean filter ok. Now, next one is image quantization. This is also very important thing. See, I have an image size n cross n. Now, but if I have huge volume of data or huge volume of images, 
I may not like to retain all of them, right? So, is it possible to reduce my image size? So, one way could be a simple way. You can think, sir, I have a image n cross n, and instead of instead of taking all the image, I take only the odd columns of the image and odd rows of my image. I drop the even rows and even columns. Image size will be reduced by four. Right? This is possible. Another way could be that suppose I have a eight bit data for for an image for a pixel value. I tell no, I don't want eight bit. I want to retain only four bit, or five bit, or six bit. What it means that I have eight bit and last few bits I want to discard. Say sixty three is my gray scale value, gray value, and another one is having sixty two. So one is sixty three, another one is sixty two. Sixty three in eight value. This is one, and in eight value, this is zero, and remaining are same, right? So if I suppress, if I do not consider this one, then I get the data of seven bit and seven bit. Only thing is that sixty-three has been converted to sixty-two only, right? Nothing more than that. But my image and one gray value change will not spoil your thing. Agreed. So one way is that you can perform the operations on the gray values. Another one is that you can perform the operation on the column row thing. But you can skip the some columns. You can skip some rows to get the reduce the size. So simplest one or what we do the gray level reduction. That is in the gray level reduction. First one is. The end operation. Suppose I have eight bit data, and this eight bit data I want to convert into thirty two pixel values. What it means that all web pixels or all a uh, pixel value lying between zero and seven I want to put zero. All pixel values lying between eight and fifteen I want to put value eight, and so on. All pixel value lying between 16 and 23 or 24, 23 or 24. I want 23. I want to put 16 and so on. Agreed? So, base you could have done it by dividing by 8, and you get the value, right? So instead of dividing by 8, we just perform the end operations. We get the value. Yes. And Once you do the end operations, you will be getting that value: zero to seven, you get zero; eight to fifteen, you will get eight, and so on. Is it clear? Now, next one is that instead of doing that, I want that no zero to seven. I don't want zero. I want to put seven. Depending upon your idea or your seeing the image, you may have to take the decision. The zero to seven, I want to put seven, and Eight to fifteen, I want to put fifteen and so on. In that case, you will be performing the OR operations on with these values. Why I have taken eight bit? Because it is a two fifty six zero to two fifty five, which is an eight bit. So that's why I have taken eight bit operations. Now, can you tell me what I should put or what should be the operations to replace zero to seven by its mid middle value? Middle value is what? Zero to seven middle value. Four or five. Four, not three. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. So I want to put by its medium middle value. What operations I will perform? So I told you. That if I want to replace zero to seven by zero, then I will perform the end operations. If I want to perform zero to seven by seven, I put or operation on this with this mask. Am I right? Now, 
suppose I want to perform the operation or perform the I, I want the image that which will rep, uh, like that 0 to 7 will be replaced by the middle of this either 3 or 4 and 8 and 15 by 11 and 12 and so on. What type of operations I need to perform? Divide by? Why do you need? Yeah. So either AND or 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 AND, right? AND or will give you one of this and other one will give that one. And that shift operation anyway you have to do it, otherwise you will not get the reduction. So suppose uh, we, this can be done by both of them, uh, so either AND or 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 AND operations. Is it clear? Yes. So this is all about the materials what I com covered first one is that what is convolution any doubt on convolution then I have discussed about the filtering in the filtering I told the why I need the filtering and there are four types of filtering I told one is average filtering order statistics filtering or median filtering I told then I told Gaussian filtering and enhancement filtering. Agreed? Finally, we told also that what should be the appropriate size of k, why you need the k is odd and what is the constraint you have to put or you have to see so that the perfect value of k you can obtain and also the how to reduce the size of your image. Right? This is important because sometimes for example, 10 megapixel image you got it, but you cannot handle 10 megapixel image for because I need only I need only 100 cross 100 maybe or 110 cross 110 like that type or 200 cross 20 230. From 10 megapixel you have to reduce it. How to reduce it? So we currently what we are doing we are dropping some columns and rows. But dropping columns and rows is create, may create problem because some of the important features maybe I am losing. Then there was no need of getting image of from the ten image of size ten pixel or uh, ten megapixel things. But because we have the constraint, we have the limitation of handling such a you know large image. What we are doing that even though the sensor is giving the larger image. I am reducing it to the smaller image, then I am doing the pre-processing to get the features. 